Well, every time I hear today's gospel from Luke, um, it reminds me of the beautiful memories of being with my sister Tony in her kitchen while she was cooking. She loved to cook and she especially loved to bake. And she always loved involving my niece in that. And she would oftentimes sit my niece right up onto the counter and she'd have her big mixing bowl um, right there on the counter as she would be working through the different recipes. And um, one of the things she loved to do was make chocolate chip cookies. And I always laughed watching her make those cookies um, because uh, the recipes would often call for one cup of, of brown sugar. Um, and if you're a cook, um, you know that you have to pack that brown sugar into the measuring cup. And boy, she would jam that in there so hard and it would often overflow just like today's gospel describes. It would overflow and instead of giving one cup, I bet it was probably like a cup and a half of brown sugar. And she'd do the same with the chocolate chips. Um, she'd do it with the walnuts and just really make that recipe incredible. And they were incredible chocolate chip cookies that everybody loved. And the beautiful thing was she would make those cookies not only for us as family, um, she would often make them for the church picnics or she'd make them for Christian mother meetings or perhaps she would even make them for the community dinner. But every time she made them, she used the exact same recipe. She never skimped. She never skimped saying, well, this is for the community dinner or this is for the, the church picnic. And instead of putting in as much brown sugar or as many chocolate chips or as, as many walnuts, she would never skimp. She always did the same. And my dear family, as we celebrate today's Holy Mass, that's what God is saying to each and every one of us. He never skimps when it comes to his love, when it comes to his mercy for us. And he simply asks the question, why do we skimp on the recipe when it comes to the people around us? Why do we hold back? Um, we all have the different relationships in our lives. And I ask us to, to really contemplate about one that might be difficult or one that might not be healthy, one that we're struggling with. And today's gospel really challenges us to look at that, that relationship or that individual and think, well, why am I skipping, skimping on the recipe of, of love and mercy that God's calling me to when it comes to interacting with that person? The last part of today's gospel is kind of scary if you think about it. And Jesus is, is laying it right out there. He says, stop judging, stop condemning and forgive and you will be forgiven. Um, and then he tells us that if we judge our brothers and sisters around us, if we condemn them and if we withhold forgiveness, then that's the same measure that's going to be measured out for us whenever it comes time for that judgment day. And I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, but that's scary. I don't want the Lord to skimp on his love and mercy when it comes to my eternal life. And I don't think any one of us do. So today, as we celebrate this Holy Mass, Maybe let's just think about today's gospel and those relationships in our lives and think about the words of Luke. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure packed together, shaken down and overflowing. It's going to be poured into our laps. God's going to be so generous. He's going to pour all that stuff down into our laps. And how he says, for the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. If we find that we're judging somebody, not quite understanding why they do what they do, maybe we're condemning somebody without knowing all the facts, or, or maybe we're withholding forgiveness because of, of some hurt that's happened a long time ago. Today's a good day for us to let those things go and to be ready to experience God's love and mercy when we share it with those around us. So today, I hope you all take time to have some tea and, and maybe a good chocolate chip cookie. But more importantly, I hope today that we all take the opportunity to do what Jesus says. Stop judging, stop condemning, and give forgiveness where it is needed. And when we do that, you can better believe it. You can count on it that Jesus is gonna give us that good measure, packed together, 
shaken down and overflowing, ready to be poured into each and every one of our laps. Trusting in God's love and mercy for 